Today we are going to see what is the physical significance of the wave function psi. Okay, right? Physical significance of psi, Max Born interpretation. Right? We have the Schrodinger's time dependent wave equation, one dimension as i h bar dou psi of x comma t by dou t equal to minus h bar square by 2m dou square psi of x comma t by dou x square plus v psi of x comma t. Okay. Now Schrodinger has derived the Schrodinger wave equation. Okay, now we will remove what you call, we will eliminate t from this one. We will get time independent Schrodinger wave equation. Okay, all that is fine. But still, what is the physical meaning of this wave function psi? Okay, how did De Broglie uh, Schrodinger have started? Okay, let's, now we said that De Broglie's concept says what? Every metal particle of mass m moving with the velocity v will be associated with a wave whose wavelength is given by Right, lambda equal to h by m v, he said. Okay, but now try to imagine. Okay, right, De Broglie has said that experimental, what's called experimental confirmation has come for the formula lambda equal to h by m v. All things are fine only, but when we close our eyes and try to realize how an electron behaves like a wave. Okay, what is a wave basically? In a wave, something has to move up and down, or something has to move back and forth. Okay, just something has to wave, isn't it? Okay, something, something, some periodicity should be there in a particle. What is that that makes an electron behave like a wave? That neither De Broglie nor Schrodinger could understand initially. Okay, so they, what they said is, how they proceeded. They said, let something that makes an electron behave like a wave be denoted by psi. Okay, right, and that psi should take care of the wave aspect of the particle, isn't it? So they said that wave means we have only one equation, either sine function or cos function or e to the power ix function. Okay, so they said that let something that makes an electron behave like a wave be denoted by e to the power minus i into omega t minus kx. Okay, now e equal to h bar omega, this is quantum theory. Okay, waves behave like particles. So omega equal to e by h bar they have taken. Okay, right, k equal to, so De Broglie's concept, this is, waves behave like particles. Okay, particles behave like waves, De Broglie concept is P equal to h bar k. Okay, k equal to P by h bar. So, they have substituted this value of k, that is particles behave like waves. And omega equal to e by h bar, that is waves behave like particles, right, in, this, in the place of omega and k, right, e by h bar and P by h bar have been substituted. They have integrated what shall they have differentiated psi with respect to t ones and what you call twice with respect to position x. Okay, and uh, what you call the general energy equation, right? E equal to the right, total energy of any particle is always equal to p square by 2m plus potential energy v. They have introduced the wave function psi here, psi here, psi here, because that psi is what you call making a particle behave like a wave. Okay, e psi value, they have substituted p square psi value, they have substituted. And they got finally got right Schrodinger got this Schrodinger wave equation. Okay, time independent equation has been obtained like this. Time independent equation, time dependent and time independent equation. This is a time dependent equation has been obtained like this. But still, nobody is clear about what psi is. Okay, different scientists have given different interpretations for psi. Okay, Chadwick has given one interpretation. Okay, Millikan has given one interpretation. Okay. The father of quantum mechanics, Schrodinger himself has given one interpretation, but none of these interpretations or physical meanings of psi is accept was acceptable to all. Okay, was not acceptable to all, right? Whatever is said by a scientist A, right, was rejected by scientist B and C. Now, if you take it that way, we are getting this problem in some other case like that. Okay, but none of the satisfaction, none of the explanations were satisfactory. At that time, a German physicist called Max Born has come. Okay, German physicist Max Born has come and said that, okay, he has given one interpretation, excellent interpretation for psi and that interpretation even today after 100 years we are all following. Okay, right, that interpretation was accepted by everybody. What is that interpretation? He said that psi of x comma t is meaningless. Okay, right. So he said that the wave function psi of x comma t is simply a mathematical function. It has no physical significance, he said. And that is found to be satisfactory all. So satisfactory for all. Okay, why? If I say that this is something, means somebody will come and say it is not that. Okay, it is something else they say. If I say something is something else, okay, other people will come and say no, 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 it cannot be that. But if I say psi is meaningless, there is nothing to deny in it. Okay, right? So they accept, they are forced to accept this concept. 
Okay, psi is meaningless. Psi is simply a mathematical function. Then we are studying physics, isn't it? Okay, something should have everything in physics should have some physical meaning, isn't it? If psi is simply a mathematical function like psi x cos x, then what has physical significance? Means Max one said, it is not psi which is important, or it is not psi which has physical meaning. Its square has physical meaning. He said, okay, that is right. Psi square of x comma t. Okay, he said that denotes the probability of finding the particle at that point x, at that instant t, he said. Okay, so what is psi means? Psi itself is has not having any physical significance. Psi is simply a mathematical function. How do you get psi? By differentiating or what you call by solving Schrodinger wave equation. Okay, you solve Schrodinger wave equation, you will get some psi, some mathematical function. What is having physical significance means? What he said is, it is square of the wave function psi of x comma t, which denotes the probability of finding the particle at that point x, at that instant, it's called probability density. It is called probability density, pd equal to, right, psi square of x comma t, psi square of x comma t, okay, right, now, what do we do in order to get square? Okay, we'll simply multiply psi of x comma t with psi of x comma t, but one small problem will come here, what is that? Psi square should denote probability. Okay, but I what type of psi I'll get? I don't know. Psi may be real or imaginary. If psi is real, no problem. Psi square is probability. What happens if psi is imaginary? You see, I'm, see, I'm applying what you call Schrodinger equation to a physical system and solve Schrodinger equation. What type of solution I get? I don't know. Okay, I, so a solution I get may be imaginary also. Okay, in general, psi is a complex function. Okay, right? Now, if I get sin x, no issue. Okay, simply sin x into sin x, sin square x denotes probability at that point x. If I get what happens if I get i sin x, right? If I simply multiply i sin x with i sin x, i square will be minus, it will be minus sin square x. Okay, probability cannot be negative. Probability is always real. Means this products, right? The square of psi should always be real. Means what Max Bond said is don't multiply psi with psi. Psi multiply, uh, multiply psi with its complex conjugate psi star. Okay, complex conjugate psi star such that, right? Let psi may be real or imaginary. Psi star psi will always be real. Okay, psi star psi will always be real. Probability is always real. Okay, right? If psi equal to sin x, what is complex conjugate of sin is complex conjugate of real function is that function only. Okay, we will get sin square x. If psi equal to i sin x I got, okay, its complex conjugate will be minus i sin x i into i, i square minus 1 into minus, it will be positive, finally will get positive. Okay, how do we represent this in mathematics? mathematics? Okay, mod psi of x comma t whole square bracket. Okay, so, right, psi should be multiplied not with psi, but its complex conjugate in order to get that is mod psi square denotes the probability of finding the particle at that point x at that instant t. Okay, that's called probability density. Now, what is the probability of finding the particle in a small interval of length dx, that is between x and x plus dx, what is the probability of finding the particle? Okay, that probability I'll write it as, right, dt equal to, or dp equal to, right, mod psi of x comma t whole square into dx L, right? This, give, this denotes, the, the, uh, this gives the probability of finding the particle in a small interval of length dx, okay? What is the total probability in the entire domain under consideration or along the entire x-axis means, what do I do? Probability p equal to integral dp is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity mod psi of x comma t whole square dx L, right? Integrate under the limits, okay? If you are interested only in a, some specific region, okay, say from A to B, you instead of minus infinity to plus infinity, you will put A to B. Okay, when your problem is confined only to a particular domain, okay, you will put those limits only. In general, if you want the probability of finding the particle throughout the entire x-axis, integral minus infinity to infinity, mod psi square, right, dx right. This is known as probability of finding the particle, right, in a given domain or in a given region under consideration. Okay, now. What do you expect to get? What is the meaning why probability has come into physics means? Okay, because of the uncertainty principle. Okay, if you can find the position of the particle accurately, your uh, accuracy in momentum keeps on decreasing. If you concentrate on finding the momentum more accurately, your position probability will keep on decreasing. So, what is the probability with which I can find the particle in a given region? Okay, is that what is the meaning of this? 
by chance if you get my integral minus infinity to infinity mod psi square dx is equal to 1. Okay, what do you what do you understand from this? Okay. Probability of finding probability is one means what? Definitely. It means probability of finding the particle somewhere if from minus infinity to infinity, that is along the entire x-axis is one means particle is existing somewhere on the x-axis. Somewhere on the x-axis. Okay. If you get integral minus infinity plus infinity mod i square dx is equal to zero, you get probability zero means what? Definitely it won't occur. Okay, it means that particle does not exist at all. Not here, not here, not here, not here. Particle is not to be found anywhere along the entire x-axis. Particle cannot be found anywhere in the, along the entire x-axis. What does that mean? Particle doesn't exist at all. Particle doesn't exist at all. You may get 0.5, you may get 0.6. It means probability. In some region, suppose say integral a to b, right? Mod psi of x comma t, right? Whole square dx. If you get, suppose say, you get 0 0.5. What do you understand? Probability of finding the particle in the region from A to B is 0.5, means 50% probability is there. Means if you may try to find the particle's position 100 times, you may find the particle 50 times, you may not find the particle 50 times. That is the meaning of probability 0.5. Okay, right? So, by chance, if you get infinity, what does that mean? Okay, what is infinite probability? Some functions will give you. Right? If you integrate from minus infinity to minus infinity to plus infinity mod psi square dx, we'll see what type of functions will give you infinity. Okay. Infinity means what? Probability is infinite means what does it mean? Particle is to be found everywhere in the domain, always. Okay, if it is minus infinity infinity along the entire x-axis, particle probability is infinite means what? Particle will be found always everywhere. Okay. Right? Is it possible for any particle to be present? everywhere along the entire x-axis always impossible okay so this infinity concept should be removed okay probability should always lie between right zero and one only okay right so this is it's the physical significance of psi okay so psi itself has no meaning psi is simply a mathematical function what is having physical significance its square is having physical significance it denotes the probability of finding the particle Right at some point x in space at that instant t. Okay. Right. But if you are that is known as probability density, we will denote it by dp. Okay, we will denote it by pd mod psi square x. What is the probability of finding the particle in a small interval of length dx? dp equal to mod psi square dx, right? What is the total probability of finding in the entire region under consideration? Under consideration, every time you need you won't put minus input to plus infinity. Once we go in solving what you call, see the applications of quantum mechanics, one particle in a 1D box. Particle is confined to a rigid one-dimensional infinite potential well, okay, from 0 to L only, that's all, okay. So, you'll integrate it from 0 to L. You don't have to integrate it from minus infinity to plus infinity, okay, because your problem itself is 0 to L only. We will have put the limits 0 to L and we'll try to find out, okay, right. Now, if the particle right need not be confined only to that region, particle sometimes may go outside the region, you will not get one, you will get less than one. You will get less than one. Okay. Because probability of finding the probability for the particle to go out of the region is also there. If it is there, what happens? Sometimes you'll find the particle outside, sometimes you'll find the particle inside. Then integral minus infinity plus infinity mod size per dx will not be equal to one, it will be less than one. Okay. If you get zero, what does that mean? You are not finding the particle at all inside the box. Okay, particle does not exist in your given region, which is a meaningless or uninteresting solution. You know, you don't expect zero. You are searching for some particle, right? Whether the electron is present inside the atom or not, you want to see. Okay, you don't, so most of the time you don't exactly want what is the exact position of the electron is not required. Whether electron is present in the first orbit or not, whether it is present in the second orbit or not like that. Okay, you are interested in some ranges and you don't expect it to become zero. So, the probability of finding the particle in the entire domain, in the entire space is p equal to mod psi, uh, mod psi whole square of dx. If it is equal to 1, Okay, if the probability of finding the particle in any given region need not be minus infinity to plus infinity, right? Even if it is integral from a to b mod psi of x comma t whole square, right? dx, if it is equal to 1, right? A wave function satisfying this condition is said to be normalized to unity. Okay, it is said to be normalized to unity or simply a normalized wave function because a normalized wave function. Okay. 
normalized wave function. Okay. Any wave function satisfying this condition, right, in the domain, right, a to vr minus a to the plus infinity of mod size square dx is equal to 1, we say it is a normalized wave function. Okay, this is an important aspect actually. Normalizability of the wave function is a very important property. Okay, that should be one of the that is one of the properties of the wave function itself. Okay, wave function should be in such a way so that it should be normalizable. Okay, we'll see the advantages of this aspect, right, as we proceed further into the topic. Okay, so this is the physical significance of sign. In the next video, we'll see what is right, what are the postulates of quantum mechanics. Okay, thank you.